to work out the relative minor of a major key, for example C major, we just take that key and we count four keys uh, on the left from there. For example, if we are on C major, this is C, we count one, two, three, four, and we found out the relative minor of C major is A minor. For example, if we are to find out the relative minor of G, which is here, the relative ma minor of G major, we had to count 1, 2, 3, 4, and that will be E minor. But uh, if we need to do the other way, for example, uh, we have that um, we have a uh, F minor and we want to find out what is the relative major of F minor we just do the opposite we just count four keys to the right for example this is the uh, F for uh, the F minor one two three four and we find out that A flat major is the relative major of F minor and let's go to another example for example uh, we have that um, a B is a minor key and we want to find out what the relative major of B minor would be we just count one two three four and that would be the relative major D would be the relative major of B minor. If we want to find out what key a tune or a song is written by looking at the key signature, all we need to do is to go to the very last sharp in the key signature and for example, in this case, we can see that the last sharp is affecting the A, therefore will be an A sharp. You go to C on the keyboard, the A sharp, move one step to the right, one semitone to the right, and then we discover that this key here belongs to a B major. So this whatever it is, is written in B major or the minor relative of B major. The minor relative of B major would be if we move backwards four step, one, two, three, four, that would be G sharp minor. So this one here is either written in B major or G sharp minor. Suppose you want to um, work out the key signature for this particular case, which is just one sharp. That sharp is affecting the F. So if you go to the F sharp and move one step to the right, we have that is written in G major, in G major, or the relative minor of G major which is 1, 2, 3, 4, E minor. So this is written either in G major or E minor. And lastly, if you look at this, for example, the last one, the last of a sharp is affecting the G, G sharp. If you look at the G sharp, just move one step to the right and we have that this particular tune will be written in A major or the relative minor of A major which is 1, 2, 3, 4, F sharp minor. So this is written in A major or F sharp minor. In this particular case we don't have any sharp at all. That means that a uh, whatever it is, is written in C major 
or the relative minor of C major which is 1, 2, 3, 4, A minor so this is written either in C major or A minor If we want to find out what key a tune or song is written under by looking at a key signature that is uh, written with flats we need to look at the second last flat and see what note it is affecting for example in this case uh, we notice that is the second last flat is affecting the E therefore this is written in E flat major E flat major or the relative minor of E flat major which is 1, 2, 3, 4, C minor so this is written either in E flat major or C minor if you look at for example this key signature here just count 1, 2, ok this is affecting the D so this is a D flat major key signature or relative minor this is could be written in the relative minor of D flat major which is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4 B flat minor so this is written either on D flat major or B flat minor if you look at this key signature here just look at the second last second last uh, flat in the key signature and that's going to be uh, affecting the B that would be a B major key B major or relative minor of B major sorry B flat major B flat major or the relative minor of B flat major that would be G 1 2 3 4 G minor so this a song starting with this key signature will be written in either B flat major or G minor in this particular case here we don't have the second last flat because it is only one flat in that case we need to just uh, remember that if we see only one flat we are working on a key of F major just F major or the relative minor of F major which is 1, 2, 3, 4, D minor and in the case that we don't have any key signature as we saw before uh, that means that we are working on a C major key or a minor relative of C major which is A minor an easy way to write key signatures is to remember two uh, phrases that will help you to uh, know what note uh, to put the sharp on uh, on a key signature one of them is for the sharps which is Father Charles goes down and ends battle on that one we have that Father start with F Charles with C G D A E and B so if we need to find uh, um, a key with one one sharp we just need to apply a sharp to the F if we need a key signature with two sharps we need to use the F first and then the C in this case for example we need a key signature with four sharps in the case of A major for example in that case we need to go F for father C for Charles G for goes and D for down and that is enough by using the father Charles goes down and ends battle I can build a key signature for E major this is even more complicated in B 
major it is more complicated but it's act actually the same we just call father F Charles C goes go G down is it D and and that's an A and that's it we have here the key signature for B major if we need to work with flats we just use a different uh, phrase for example this one before eating a donut get coffee first so we have in this case for a uh, uh, in the case of E flat major that will be before B eating E A A and that's it or for example in this case we have five flat before E eating E A A donut D get and the phrase is, is a bit longer and both phrases is a bit longer to cover the one two three four five six seven flats or seven sharps so we have all the key signatures cover with this phrase